Okay, so what's a cracker got to do with the most important moment in all of Jewish history? Let's find out. From Aish, I'm Sarah, and this is Jew Know It. Today, we're talking about Passover. Love learning about the Jewish holidays? You're going to love hitting that subscribe button. Think of Passover as the ultimate freedom fest where we hang with family, nosh and traditional eats, and celebrate the Jews' escape from Pharaoh's iron grip on Egypt. Here's how it went down. The Jews were slaves in Egypt for over 200 years. Not cool. Enter Moses, backed by the G to the O to the D, who steps up to Pharaoh with a simple request, let my people go. But Pharaoh was like, um, no. So God hits the Egyptians with not one, but 10 plagues, turning Egypt into something worse than the DMV. By plague 10, Pharaohs finally had enough and gave the Jews the green light to go, which happened to be on the 15th of Nisan, not the car, the Hebrew month. And that's why every year the Jews celebrate Passover, marking the day they turned from slaves into freedom fighters. The finale of the plagues was dark. The firstborn of every couple in Egypt got a one-way ticket to the afterlife. But God gave the Jews what we now call a life hack and said, slap some lamb blood on your door and I'll skip killing off your firstborn. In other words, Jewish homes were passed over. Get it? But hold up, why did the need for blood on the Jews' doors? Didn't God know who was Jewish and who wasn't? He is God after all. Of course, but God was sending a powerful message. You gotta proudly wear your Jewishness, especially when times are tough. How do you like to wear your Jewishness? Let us know in the comments. Think of Passover as a time machine back to ancient Egypt. You're literally eating the foods the slaves ate and saying the prayers that the slaves said when they were freed. But because you're not actually fleeing Egypt, it's an opportunity to think about the things that are enslaving you in your life. Is it the money in your wallet, your job, your obsession with what others think about you, your phone, bad relationship? Think about it. And whatever it is, Passover's your chance to break free and write your own story of freedom. The main food eaten on Passover is matzah, AKA unleavened bread. Think of matzah as the OG flatbread, courtesy of the Jews getaway from Egypt who had no time for their dough to rise. But here's the other thing. Matzah, it's more than just a crunchy snack. It's a symbol of stripping away the fluff in your life. You know, that toxic relationship, the unfulfilling job, or that unsupportive friend? Whatever it is, matzah's your reminder to set yourself free. Passover's all about the number four. Four cups of wine, four types of curious kiddos asking four questions, but why? Because the Torah, when describing the Exodus, describes freedom in four parts. Freedom from slavery, freedom from Egypt, freedom from the Egyptian army at the splitting of the sea, and finally, the freedom to embrace the Jewish mission of being a light unto the nations. Bottom line, Passover isn't just about breaking free. It's about knowing what to do once you do break free. So what are you gonna do? I'm Sarah, and from Aish, this has been Jew Know It, a series where we tackle questions big and small about Judaism, even ones that you're too afraid to ask. Hit that like and subscribe button to follow along and drop a comment with what topics you want us to cover next. And if you love what we're doing and would like to see more videos like this, consider making a donation through the link in the description. Bye!